Hello, happy new year. I hope you all have been well. I know it's been a minute. So today I wanted to sit down and just chat through all the bags in my collection. And because I am surrounded by so many bags right now, I'm gonna share just one quick pro and one quick con about each piece. And if you wanna see a more in-depth video about a certain bag, let me know in the comments and I can definitely do that. And let's just get started. I'm gonna organize this video in about three different sections. So the first section are bags that have been in my collection for a really long time now like the OGs if you will and then I'm gonna have a whole Polen section because we have so many Polen bags and then the last section will be newer bags I've added in the last year year and a half ish Kicking this off with the Longchamp Le Pliage. This is a closet slash wardrobe essential. So if you do not have a really great travel tote or just work tote, highly recommend this one. I've had this in 2016 and it's just now barely showing any wear and tear. So a pro, it will last you such a long time. I don't even have a con about this bag. Maybe if it included more pockets, like it only has one right now, but you cannot go wrong with this bag. Up next is the Louis Vuitton croissant. This bag, believe it or not, is probably my sibling because it is over 20 years old. And this came from my mom's collection. She actually passed it down to me maybe like two years ago, I want to say. But I actually really love this bag and reach for it a lot. So a pro, it literally has stood the test of time and is still going so strong. Can you believe this is 20 years old? And the only con I can think about is that the zipper got warped. So I don't know how that happened. Maybe I should bring it into LV, but... Yeah, it doesn't really bother me. It still functions really well. I'm sure you're waiting for this one, but the Chanel Medium Classic Flap with, I believe, palladium hardware, silver hardware. And a pro is that this bag is still going strong, still looks brand new, and actually holds everything I need it to with just a little bit of space left over. And the only con I would say is the current retail price. I highly recommend going the vintage or pre-loved route if you wanna add a Chanel Classic Flap. Another piece I've had in my collection for about two years now is the Fendi Baguette. This is in a medium size. I'm actually letting go of this piece, so if you want it or you know someone who wants it, it's in amazing condition. I still have the full set, so it has the dust bag, box, all of that stuff. I also have the strap in here along with a bag organizer, but I do love this bag, but as I mentioned on my Instagram stories, I just am getting over the logo mania. I just don't reach for it that much anymore, and I just feel like it would do so much better in a new home. The pro is that you could fit so much in this bag, and it is not heavy because it is canvas. And a con about this bag would be that you would just have to look out for the embroidery here on the edges. I have not had any issues ever since I got like this little snippet of it like trimmed off but it has been holding up really strong and you just gotta keep an eye out for that. But other than that, it's a very solid bag. Next bag is the Loewe Mini Puzzle, which you all know I love to death. I use this bag so often, mainly as a top handle now. Pros about this bag, it is just such a unique piece. You could tell the leather is softening a little bit, but that honestly doesn't really bug me. And it holds my essentials. I don't really have a con for this bag, honestly, but if I had to make something up, it would be just to make it a little bit slightly bigger. I wish there was a size in between the mini and the small because the small is a little bit too big. And I think there just needs to be like a mini plus or like something in between. The last bag in this section is my Louis Vuitton mini BB backpack. I believe the official name is the Lock Me BB. And a pro about it is that it is probably the best mini backpack that has been released in the luxury space, in my opinion, because it is just so easy to access. It's such a great shape. It's a great size. The straps are adjustable compared to the Palm Springs Mini. And the only con about this is that it has been discontinued, which is out of its control and will probably never let go of it, honestly. This section could honestly be its own video because I cannot believe how many Polen bags I have. This isn't even everything that I own because I ended up gifting some to my mom. So she has a couple bags as well. But as you all know, I love Polen around here. I know they recently did a price increase, which really caught a lot of people off guard, myself included. 
but I will say just by owning so many pieces and feeling the leather quality across all their bags in my personal opinion I still think the bags are worth the current price but that's not the point of this video so starting off strong why have one Bari bag when you can have two so I love these bags they are just so beautiful I love holding them as a top handle pros it holds a lot the size is actually a little bit deceiving because it looks like it wouldn't but it holds your phone very comfortably your keys your wallet all of that fun stuff the con for this bag is the way that the straps attach so unless you're getting the version with the chain strap the leather versions you have to like feed it through this little hole and then tie the knot yourself so that's my only con next up are two little nano bags or i think they're micro bags i can never remember but it is the teeniest tiniest version of the number one bag i have it in this beautiful black lizard and then i also have it in a chalk color and i did show a video on tiktok of what fits inside but you'd be surprised it fits more than you would think so a pro they are just so stinking cute a con that i can see for many people if they were to purchase this is just the size because it is really tiny like i could fit it on the palm of my hand that's how tiny it is next up is the number nine or the noof i believe that's how you pronounce it this is the original size so it is quite big and bulky but they do have a mini size which i think is probably a great everyday bag size but a pro about this bag it's very unique and i actually display this on one of my shelves just because it looks so beautiful but a con is that it is really big and bulky. Sometimes it is harder to carry. And on my frame, it looks a little bit too big, like slightly too big. Up next is a very unique piece, and it is the number seven mini, I believe. I did have this in black before, but I did let it go. But this is really unique because it has a lizard print on it. It's not actual lizard. Pro about this bag is you could wear it as a top handle or you can remove it and just wear it with the longer strap. The only con about this bag is the triangular shape, as you could see here. So it is wide on the bottom, but very narrow at the top. So realistically you can only fit stuff like in this lower half so just something to consider if you are planning on getting this bag and the very last pullen bag is the umi bag i love this bag it's the perfect everyday bag it holds a lot it has a beautiful structure and it's just a really great price point for a full leather bag the pro is that it holds a lot great everyday bag the con is that my zipper started warping a little bit so this is it zipped up and you can just kind of tell it's like a little bit wavy. It honestly doesn't bug me too much. It's kind of like my other Louis Vuitton bag I showed. Might just be like a wear and tear thing or just the shape of the zipper. But I may be letting go of this piece and another Polen piece if you want to check out my shop Instagram page. I'm probably going to list it for like a really good price so you don't want to miss out on that. But all the bags I decide to let go of will be on my shop Instagram page which I will link down below. finally made it to the last section which is one of the most exciting sections I feel like and it's a lot of the newer pieces that I've added to my collection so starting off with one of my favorite purchases of 2022 we have the Prada re-edition in pink terry which i cannot wait to wear this again this spring and summer i thought i would get sick of it but at the same time i'm not surprised that i'm not tired of it because it just makes me so happy every time i see it pro it is just such a great fun pop of color in my closet it also fits a lot of items that i carry on the day to day i don't really have any cons but it still looks great like since the day i got it haven't had any issues so i love this piece Another piece I added in my collection last year is this vintage Chanel. I don't think I've shown this piece enough because it's just so unique and fun, but it is shirling on the front and the back, and then it has leather, like lambskin, all on the edges. So it's just a really fun bag. It's like a little mini bucket bag. You just carry it on the crook of your arm. Pro about this bag is that it is so fun and unique, and the con about it is that it is a little bit harder to style. I feel like I can dress it down more than I can dress it up, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Next up, we have the Bottega Cassette belt bag. This is in the white crinkle leather. It's the flatter leather versus like the padded puffy leather. And I love this bag. Pro, it fits in my lifestyle perfectly 
and the only con i would say is that i have to baby it just a little bit because of the color however it is really easy to clean so i'm not too mad about that i was debating if i want to include this bag but it is technically a bag and it is in my collection so i'm going to include it but it is the lululemon belt bag i'm sure you've seen it all over social media but i will say it is a great like effort bag you don't have to worry about it at all i got it in all black and i wear it especially on rainy days because it is water resistant so this is the bag i will gravitate towards if it's raining i don't want to take out my leather bags for obvious reasons if you don't have one of these in your collection i do recommend it there's a ton of colors you just gotta get your hands on them fast enough before they sell out and the most recent bag in my handbag collection is the Hermes Picatin 22. I have the lock off because I was storing it, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. But I love her so much. It is the color gold with gold hardware, but it holds so much. I got a bag organizer for it so I can just throw everything inside. Pro is that it holds a lot. Um, con is that maybe it's a little bit too wide. Like look at this, that is pretty wide. But compared to the 18, I think this holds so much more and it's also very practical and you can also wear it on the crook of your arm. So versus the 18, I've heard that it's a lot more difficult to wear it like that. And I'll be sure to film like a six month to a year review when the time comes. <laughs> 